people opposing uh, former President Marcus's burial at the Libingan ng mga bayani are saying, sir, that if we bury the former president there, it's like burying the sins of the past or burying po yung mga alaala. Ng What mga are those sins of the past? They're saying, sir, yeah, the... you, you, you detail it because specify it. Deal of particulars. Sir, uh, yeah, that's a general statement, sin of the past. Sir, they mentioned uh, the killings, disappearances po ng mga desaparecidos, uh, oppression po of media. Why can they not file cases in court so that we will find out who did the disappearance and why they did disappear and who was the reason for the disappearance and let them answer for it. The, 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 the trouble with these people is that They make a charge without specification. So, sir, are you saying, sir, that the former uh, President Marcos was not uh, at least partly responsible because this happened during his term, po, during martial law? Well, if if, uh, if uh, a president is responsible for everything that happens in his society, then at the end of his term, he should be guillotined. Sir, you defected po... Uh, against the former president. Like this present president, they say he's harsh. You read the Constitution. What are the powers of a president? The first power of a president under his commander-in-chief provision. What? Does anybody know it here? Suppression of violence or lawless violence. Any violence that is considered lawless under our system and that is prohibited by law, is subject to suppression by whom? By the police and by the army if necessary. So, sir, even if po your defection po from former President Marcos uh, eventually led po to the EDSA People Power Revolution, now, just to clarify, sir, you're supporting his hero's burial at the Libingan ng mga bayani. Ano yun? Sir, even if you... Well, sir, kahit... Sir, ulitin ko na lang po. Kahit po tumiwalag po kayo kay former President Marcos... Ay, na ibang salitaan yun. Ibang isi yun. Huwag mo nang sasa... Ibabalik yun. Sapagkat ma, ma, isang libro yun. Pag tinalakay ko yun. Ano? Ibang isi yun eh. We're talking of Marcos as Marcos the President. Okay? Whether he's entitled to be buried... In the cemetery called Libingan ng mga bayani, that is only a characterization of that place. Not all the people buried there can be considered heroes. Oh, whether they're medals or not, they're entitled to be buried there because the law says they must be buried there. Would they have a right to be buried there. Sir, would you consider former President Marcos po as a hero? Huh? Would you consider po former President Marcos? Why not? He, he was given a medal of honor. And it's not a fake mo, uh, medal. Some people say, Bonnie Gall Gallego says, that he had fake medals, but of all the medals that he received, I don't think all are fake. One medal of honor is enough to allow you to be buried in that piece of land. Sir, same position even if the huh? national... Same position po, sir, even if the National Historical Commission is saying that yung mga medal of honor po ni former President Marcos is... I do not know. Sa, I'm quoting Bonnie Gilgego, but I doubt whether there is truth to what he said. But anyway, if he can present a proof, why not? If anybody can present a proof, then prove it. <clears throat> Unless that proof is presented, the presumption is that those medals are 